Hi, and welcome back to your autism game plan. I'm Joya Vanderlaan, a family nurse practitioner, a functional medicine specialist, and an autism mom. Now, in terms of treatments of seizures, medications are really going to be the primary um, treatment used, especially initially. There are different medications, they're always coming out with new medications, it seems, and different medications have different requirements in terms of the monitoring and dosing and whether you can use, you know, two medications together. So again, really important to work with a specialist, neurologist or an epileptologist to make sure that the treatment for your child is, is effective. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, low carbohydrate diet. It's been popular recently, especially among just the general public. Um, however, it has been researched for a long time in epilepsy and seizures, and especially in kids ages one to 10, it can be 50% effective in up to 40% of those kids in reducing their seizure frequency. Now, the ketogenic diet is not a cure for epilepsy. The child will still need monitoring, will still need medications almost certainly, but the ketogenic diet is something you can add on to help your child even more. The ketogenic diet can help with our mitochondria. Those, remember, are the main energy producers in our cells. They are encouraged to be more active, and there's even some research showing maybe on a ketogenic diet that we produce more mitochondria or stronger, more functional mitochondria. And also, the ketogenic diet is really uh, good at helping to produce more of that actual energy, that ATP, that all our cells need for energy production. The other thing is that it can increase in the brain a neurotransmitter called GABA or gamma aminobutyric acid, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, inhibitory. So it kind of calms those um, synapses or the, the spaces of connection where the neurons connect and kind of decreases excitability in the brain and stabilizes those connections and the communication between the brain cells, decreasing the likelihood of seizure. Two different benefits that are thought to be at play here with the ketogenic diet are an increase in blood levels of free fatty acids, so the fat, and also a decrease in the fluctuation of blood sugar levels. Both of these are at play. Good news about that is that it seems not to have to do with actual ketosis, being in ketosis. Strictly speaking, a, keto a ketogenic diet um, is defined by you, the person being in ketosis. In other words, a, a, the body changes uh, how it metabolizes our macronutrients. But it seems as though that the ketosis is not as important as the increase in fatty acid levels and the stabilization of our blood sugar levels. So that is comforting to know that we don't have to be perfect when we're feeding our child a ketogenic diet in order to reap the benefits in terms of seizure control. In mice, there are some studies that show that a ketogenic diet changes the gut microbiome. Here we are back to the gut again. It changes the microbiome in a way that can increase brain levels of GABA, that inhibitory neurotransmitter, and decrease levels of the excitatory neurotransmitter or glutamate. And so that provides a balance and a decreased excitability in general of the brain, leading to less seizures. In a lot of the functional medicine circles or biomedical treatment circles, marijuana has come up as an interesting option for um, treatment of seizures or co-treatment of seizures. So let's talk a little bit about that. I want to give a couple warnings first. Um, two big warnings are we know that cannabinoids or you know the, the components of marijuana or of CBD can affect the way our liver enzymes process other things like drugs, medications. And so if your child is on seizure medications and you start marijuana, it may very well affect the way those medications work, the levels of the medications in the blood. And so you really want to be sure that the that you're not starting marijuana on your child without a, a provider, like a neurologist, supervising and being okay with that and knowing that they need to monitor blood levels maybe of certain medications that your child may be on to make sure that it's happening in a safe way. 
The other thing is that we really don't have good long-term studies on how does marijuana affect the development of the brain long-term in a child? You know, does it lead to um, lack of motivation, other brain damage? Um, you know, what happens to a child's brain when they're taking marijuana or other cannabinoids? And is that something that we want? Or is that something that maybe is a little bit concerning? And I think the answer right now is we don't know enough to say for sure um, and to give a good picture of risk versus benefit in order to make a 100% um, informed decision on that. Now knowing the risks, CBD, marijuana are things that many people are using to help their children with seizures. And again, I would suspect that your neurologist would be at least familiar enough to have uh, a discussion with you about the feasibility or effectiveness and safety of using uh, marijuana or other cannabinoids in your child with autism with seizures. You know, I didn't want to do a video on seizures without covering what do you do if your child is having a seizure. Safety is of utmost important and I think a lot of us are uninformed or misinformed about what we should be doing if we witness our child having a seizure. So in other words, safety is key. Nothing you do is going to stop your child's seizure. The seizure is self-limited. It will stop on its own. However, you do want to keep your child safe in the meantime. Move them away from things that they could be bumping into or falling uh, off of or falling into. Uh, maybe slide a pillow under their head. Don't try and hold them down. Um, you want to put them on their side with the top leg bent so the knee is kind of supporting that side lying position. Never, never, never put anything in the mouth. You're going to hurt them. You're going to hurt you um, by trying to do that. And the fact is that a, a person will not swallow their tongue. They may bite their tongue a little bit and you may see some blood. Um, but you putting something in their mouth is not going to prevent that. In fact, it may make it worse and it's just not safe to do. Do not put anything in the mouth during a seizure. One thing that may take a little practice to learn to do is to watch the clock. If you notice that your child is having what you think might be a seizure or what you know is a seizure, you want to watch, keep an eye on that clock because you want to be able to report back exactly how long that seizure activity lasted. Also, if a seizure is lasting more than five minutes, that's when you need to call 911, you know, get help right away. Um, because that the seizure lasting more than five minutes is, is a sign of something very, very serious. You want to get handled right away. Now, lastly, let's think about how the person having a seizure might be feeling. You know, during a seizure, they're likely not aware of what's going on around them. Likely. When I worked uh, in one of the big hospitals downtown here in Chicago, I actually worked on a seizure, an epilepsy unit. And so I've had a lot of experience with patients with seizures of all ages, um, and in including autistic patients before I even had our autistic daughter. Oftentimes what I would do, especially after the seizure in the post-ictal period or recovery period where the patient is some is conscious but not quite fully aware yet is make sure they knew who i was where they were letting them know they're okay they just had a seizure letting them know who else is in the room with them so that they have a sense of um, security as they're kind of coming out of the seizure activity and they know they're safe I hope this information continues to be helpful to you. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to our various YouTube and social media channels um, and to our um, email newsletter. Remember, be gentle with yourself. You're doing a great job.